Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back downtown Ghetto Papos on a truly, truly spectacular evening indeed. The temperature, if your name is Miss Dawn, you've got a husband called Mr Sean, a little cat called Miss Daisy and a genius of a dog called Bobo. The temperature is 28 degrees and it's a spectacular evening indeed. And on top of all of that, of course, I brought with me the most beautiful woman in the world. And of course, her name is Miss Archin Grosivian Labo. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. Shall we go and see what's going on in the downtown Kedapapos Harbour? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? We're on the downtown Kedapapos promenade. We've got one or two superstars to introduce you to. And then we're going to take you with us and show you some of the restaurants and some of the things that are going on in the downtown Kedapapos Harbour. The first legend on the end of the promenade is a man called Mr Constantinus. There he is. There's his beautiful partner in crime, Miss Katerina. She's famous for stealing the money out of his pocket. And if you want to get your name on a grain of rice, this could be that special, special place for you. It can be for your cat, your dog, your auntie or your uncle. But one thing's for sure, at less than 10 euros, you can get something that's truly, truly memorable of your little visit to downtown Kedo Papos. Is it? You know, um, Mr. Constantinos, uh, he does a good job. First of all, he feels a sense, he's got a feel, sense of responsibility. And then he's writing whatever, even some unusual names, everything. If you just will tell him, he's uh, doing a great job. And yes, like Mr. Paul mentioned, for a little money. He is indeed a memorable, memorable present. Now, there's another legend. He doesn't need any introduction at all. His name is, well, it starts with a C, so we'll give you a little bit of a clue. He specializes in, in selling something that's totally unique. And of course, without further ado, let's introduce you to the cigar smoking superstar known as Mr. Chris. Good evening, Good evening Mr. Chris. Is that the cigar that I got for you? Yes. Look at that. It's 15 euro, I think. Isn't it? I think it was a couple of euros more, to be honest. It's all yeah. the way from downtown in Cuba. Oh. So smoke Thank it you. very gently indeed. Yes. There we are. He is a legend, Mr. Chris. He's here from early in the morning until late at night. And he wants to make sure that you get that very, very special Mediterranean sea sponge. They come in a different sizes, an array, as you can see, from the small ones, the harder ones, to the more fluffy ones. And by the way, if you go and buy one of these slightly bigger ones along here, a white man with a big cigar will give you one of those little ones totally free of charge. So there's a little gift for you. If you want to buy three of them, well, they are 10 euros. If you want to buy one, four. But guess what? Buy one of these, and as I just said, you can get one given for free. The most popular sponges in the whole entourage are these ones here. All different sizes and all different colours, different textures. Some of them are rougher, some of them are smoother, and some of them even look like a hedgecock. How do you say it? It looks like a hedgehog for me. Uh, how, <laughs> my God, so soft. So soft, don't they? They really, really are. No spiky one. Natural oh. sea sponges from the true depths of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. Caught towards the Egyptian side, that's where they grow and that's where they harvest and that's when they come into the possession of that man. The By greatest. The way, yes. You have Mr. Rob. Say hello to you, they fly back home tonight. Oh, Mr. Rob, we're sorry we've missed you, but you never know. We might catch it in the harbour that little bit later. Did he buy a sponge? Yes, of course. How many did he buy? One. Only one? Expensive one. Mr. Rob? Oh, an expensive one. Thank you, Mr. Rob. I was going to say it was a bit tight. Did you give him a small one to go with it as well? Yes. There we are. Mr. Rob, you've done well. Hopefully, we'll get to see you next time. Thanks for watching. That's Mr. Chris Thank there. Thank you very much. The man with the greatest smile in downtown Kedah Papos. Receive Mr. Rob, what a shame that we couldn't meet. But who knows, maybe one day, sometime. And I would like to, and I, I wish you a great landing back to your country. Uh, look at this lovely hole that it's got. It's, you know, only that you hold in it so soft. Like fluffy, but then, they? yes, but then... Uh, when they get dry under the sun, they get in like a hedgehog and they are scratching. Can you say mermaid, especially for Miss Rachel? Miss Rachel, especially for you. Mermaid. There we are. 
That's one of our superstars who's flown back to the United Kingdom. She's now at her computers in downtown York. And I've no doubt there's a bit of canoodling going on with a man called Mr. Jason. With CB Alabouf. Oh, what you was talking about? I was talking about Rachel and Jason doing a bit of pot noodling or canoodling, one of the two. Canoodling was a very uh, unusual word for me because I never heard about it before. The word canoe means canoe. <laughs> Noodling. Stick with us, there's a logic means, in there somewhere. It means somebody nude. nude, nude. So a nude person nude, on a canoe. Nude, yes. There we are. So canoeing nude, which means uh, the people nude, people make on a canoe. So there we go, Jason, all your dreams could come true. You could get Miss Rachel on a canoe nude. It's so much better than canoodling, that's for sure. Exactly. Let's keep going. We're going to storm the downtown Ked of Papas Harbour. We'd like you to come with us, and you never know. We might get to meet some new friends on the way. Old friends, well, that's a certainty. That's for sure. This is the wooden kiosk. This is the defining point of the promenade and the harbour itself. So wait for it for just a second. There we are. We have entered the DK... What's the word? The, well, I don't know. The difference between the promenade and the harbour. I was going to be all posh then and come up with a big, big word, but I got discombobulated, especially for Lady Heather and, of course, Sir Steve, all the way down in, well, on the outskirts of Hampshire. Posh people indeed. Receiving? I was saying discombobulated, but then I understood that this discombobulated Late. That's right, there's a bit of an Uncle Bob in there Uncle somewhere as well. This come Uncle Bobulated. Let's keep going. We're going to enter the Gate of Papas Harbour and we're going to find some of our friends. And along the way, we're also going to give you an update of what's actually going on because there are some improvements still going on. Where we're actually walking at the moment, he's going to be given a new lick of concrete and impressed with some spectacular stones and one or two different colours. So as time goes on, it's going to get that little bit better, that's for sure. <laughs> Hold on, we've got a singing Grisivi Alla Booth. We'll be releasing on a single very, very soon, especially for you. Now, on the note of the very, very clever dog called Mr. Bobo, why not click through to our about page where you could consider to buy us a coffee or two. Buy me a coffee on the Marika of Me platform. That's where you go. Hook up your little credit card and buy us a coffee or two as a thank you, as a salute. Or perhaps become one of our superstars at only 10 euros a month. Many people like to do it. The girl in charge of the show, that's her, Dame Anne, oh yeah. And her little sister, Elaine, who's just had a birthday. Well, I like to do it. And of course, we've got some superstars. We just mentioned them before. They're probably not discombobulated tonight, but oh no. Lady Heather, Sir Steve, they've gone and done it. Lady Ali. Sir Neil, they've gone and done it. And now and again, some of these people like to go and buy us a coffee or two. John Ricey from all the way up in Glasgow, he's done it. Peter Tiso, he's done it. Nigel Big Guns, and of course that sweetness in his life. Lady Caroline, uh oh, so, so sweet indeed. Of course, they've gone and done it as well. Let's have a look what's going on in the downtown Keda Paphos Harbour area. They're all lining up to greet us. That's the man in charge tonight. And of course, that is the superstar known as Mr. Andreas. How are you, how are you doing? You're right. Fine, how are you? Are you back to the shock of having to work after the holiday? Yes, yes. Yes, do you enjoy this? Perfect, it's very nice. It's hot tonight, though, isn't no, it? No, no, it's a little bit uh, cold. Just a little, always a little bit cold. It's a little bit cold. <laughs> Obviously, he's just come back from Greece, and uh, well, there was the odd wildfire or two, wasn't it? Although the man in charge is calling us, and that's the sexiest man. This is Mr. Lucas, Luca. right, Lucas? Best waiter in the world. Best the waiter in town. Who are you? The second best waiter. The second best waiter. There we are. Mr. Harris, Mr. Lucas. All the stars are in the restaurant tonight. You're right, Convaro? Yeah? Mr. Socrates. Socrates, that's your full name, is it? Lovely, lovely. There we are. Stars absolutely everywhere, and everybody is having a great, great time. King's Restaurant, probably the best restaurant in downtown Kedapapo. We're now entering the territory of Theo's, and the man in charge is Mr. Andreas. There he is. He's waiting to salute us. No flies. Thank God. No, no, no. No, no flies tonight. No, only couple when it's allowed. And don't forget July. Mr. Paul, today you bring the colors of the summer. The beautiful lady 
who takes your heart, takes everything for you to be together. She also takes your money as well, Andres. She likes to take your money as well. Yes, okay, yes she does. I give you 50 Go euros. On. Have you got a bit more? Come on, give us a bit more. Come on, Andres. Absolute legend on the downtown Ked of Papas Harbour. That's Theo's restaurant. Probably the best restaurant in the harbour area. If you want to meet Meze or something like that, that could be the place for you. Now, we've entered the restaurant area and it's the most famous restaurant in the world. It happens to be owned by a superstar who's always dressed in pink. Her name is Miss Coco and there are one or two people waiting to greet us at the entrance. Look at that. We've got a super, super, superstar, the man in charge. Oh, he wants him first. Mr. Right, Marinos, you right? All good, Did you have good. a good name day yesterday? Oh, yeah? Yes. And you've got some expensive <laughs> shoes on tonight. Look at that. He celebrated yeah. his name day with his Gucci shoes. <laughs> Cheap shoes. <laughs> Cheap shoes. <laughs> and that's the Santa Claus known as Mr. George. You all right, George? You've been busy today? Those little fly things have gone away now, haven't they? There's a few. And there's the girl in charge, Miss Addis. You all right, Addis? How are you doing? We can leave them at it, they're very, very busy, and we'll come back in about 10 minutes because we like to get a drink or two at the Pelican. The next restaurant on the block doesn't need much of an introduction. It's probably the most famous ice cream shop and bistro all rolled into one in downtown Ketapapos. And that's the most handsome man in the world. His name is Mr. Emmanuel. You're right, Emmanuel. They are actually, yes. But they are cheap shoes. They're not expensive shoes like yours. They're cheap. It's simple. Actually, I, don't, I don't remember. He's got about 80, maybe 100 pairs. Only She's athletic. lying now. Only, I'm not lying. You're not lying? No. No? You're sure you're not only lying? Only athletic shoes. Only athletic shoes. Anyway, where are we? Outside the bistro known as the Gelalamo. Probably the greatest bistro in the world. And if you want to get a great, great meal, at a sensible price, that could be the place for you. I am perspiring like crazy because of the humidity in the harbour area. And one or two of the little black beetles are running around as well. Me, We're now in the air. Yes? They are sweating. I'm being polite. Like a pig. Like a pig. I'm sweating like a pig. Yes. Now we are outside Sail the Castle, probably the biggest restaurant and possibly the best restaurant. That's the gangster in charge. He's known as the Romanian. And just over yonder, of course, is the sports bar area. And that's the main bar in there. And this here is the boss himself. That is Mr. Mike, and he's a legend. You all right, Mike? Are you doing well? Look at that. He's going to go and cook a sirloin steak especially for you. So if you want that special, special treat, that could be the restaurant for you. We've now arrived at the final one on the block, and this one is Stevie's, and Stevie's doesn't need much of an introduction. It truly, truly is a spectacular cocktail bar indeed, and the man in charge tonight is the man that we call Mr. Henry Wu. La, 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 la. There he is, all dressed in white, and he's looking spectacular for you. I'm asking him, why are you so sad, Mr. Ulala? I'm, I'm not sad, I'll do said... 12 hours today. You've done 12 hours today? 12 hours today. In this heat? I'm telling you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm not and there's the man in charge. If you want a free drink, that's the man to go and frisk. And I tell you what, you won't get nothing. You won't get nothing off him. He's as tight as a. Yes. Let's keep going. We're in the Ketapapas Harbour. That is the working harbour area. There's some big boats, there's some small boats, there's fishing boats, there's the odd cruising boat. That's known as the Angular. That's a new fishing cruising boat that's arrived in downtown Paphos. 35 euros a pop and you can go and fish the living daylights out of this blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. I'm going to say thanks for watching and if you do like what you see, why not hit that like, click that subscribe and perhaps come back for that little bit more of our madness and don't forget now and again to go and buy us a coffee or two or perhaps hunt us down on YouTube itself by hitting that super thanks button. You've got the like button, you've got the dislike, we don't really mind. Keep scrolling across and you've got the shorts, the download and a heart-shaped button with a dollar sign. Sharon and Phil, well, Lady Sharon and Sir Phil, we thank you very, very much indeed. I'm amazed how clean the water is, by the way. I'm looking, 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 and never stop looking in the water because it's such a clean, you know, it's like a tear of the baby, should we say. 
I would like to thank you as well. I would like to tell you many, many times, many, many thanks, because you are with us and you are our favorite ones, my godness. Oh my god, we're being attacked live on camera again. <laughs> Let's leave us to fall into that blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. <laughs> What went to my hair? Well, it's these little things, isn't it? Stay still. There's another one. Oh Turn around. Let's frisk you live on camera. I think you're clear. There we are. Am I? This is the problem in Paphos at the moment. I want to show you one more feature that's been approved in the harbour. There was always a lot of complaints about these three metal structures where we like to chituchka dance in, but they've been removing the sides. So now they're becoming more and more transparent and blending into the countryside, shall we say. And they're going to be outside eating areas for the restaurant that's being constructed to the rear. And that restaurant is the Ocean Basket. So we think that they're going to be a very, very nice Nice feature indeed. Let's go and see the uh, prancing girl known as Grisivi Alibu. Well, I'm, I'm very sorry that I couldn't say even bye-bye to you in a proper way, uh, the way that I like, a uh, tasty way, I should say. I would like to say tasty, tasty goodbye to you. I would like to tell you many, many thanks and many, many kisses from the bottom of our two hearts. And please, please, don't forget to come and see another of our madnesses. That could be especially for our man all the way in Bratislava, the Lord known as Richie. He's coming to town very, very soon. And don't forget to bring the other superstar known as Lady Zuska. I think, Robert, you'll be laughing again. The glasses came off as we were attacked live on air by those little black flying things. Going to say thanks for watching. That's the beauty known as Miss Ochin Grisivia Labouf, and this is the spectacularity of an area known as the downtown Cade of Paphos Harbour. If you like what you see, hit that like, click that subscribe, and perhaps come and join us for some more of our complete and utter nutness. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.